my name is Ajeng. I come from Indonesia. Today I will show you how I make a soap for a January challenging from Soap Challenging Club 2022. I mix all my oil first before I mix them with light solutions because I use a butter and I want all my oil being a solid first. I pour my light solutions when they on 87 degree Fahrenheit and my oil in 86 degree Fahrenheit. I mix them together with my stick blender with carefully and I use my spatula to control my trays to check it did my soap better is in the right emulsions or not. And then when I arrive in the right emulsions, I stop use stick blender and I start to use my spatula and my hand wicks. After my soap better reach on stable emulsions, I start divide them to be eight part and I give them eight colors to my soap design. For colorants, I use titanium dioxide for my white colors and mostly I use a nurture mica. First I use blackberry mica, prawn peacock mica, camouflage, alpine green, pink vibrance and aesthetic gold. And I use another product is uh, from the Mad Mika is Queen Purple. For my fragrance, I use Black Raspberry Vanilla from Nature Gardens. I read in blogs of Challenging Club. It will be cause of decelerating trace and I hope it will be work well in my soap. The next stage is I pour all my soap butter into the mold. I get inspired from Eve Gardens from YouTube. When she make a soap, it's very, very simply and it's very, very unique actually. So I tried to implementations for my soap, and I hope it will be work well. And I don't know what the end of the designs, but actually, in my mind, I get the some uh, pictures about the peacock because the first concept of my soap is a peacock. In this video, I try to show you in the real time how I swirling my soap. So, in the end, you can see how in the process the pattern inside my soap after it cutting in the next day. I try to count all my swirlings to be not over, so I just only count it until five swirling and i just only use uh, two patterns in here uh, which the pattern is i inspired by eve gardens actually i don't know did the patterns in my soap it will be make the same with the eve garden meat or not but i just only can say that I just only swirling it with the pattern because when I read the soap supplement from soap challenging club that Amy Warden sent in the Facebook I learned so much that okay it will be work on me maybe and it will be work on this soap maybe we never know if we never try for finishing my soap, I put all my soap butter in the top of my soap in the mold and I make a patterns in the top of soap and I put a little bit of glitter in the middle of soap. Uh, the purpose is I want to put my imagination about feather peacock in that soap. Then I put my soap in the oven one night and in the mornings or in the next day I cut my soap and I get surprised with my patterns and actually it's almost close with the peacock letters in my mind and it's a beautiful I think but yeah I will 
love this patterns and I really love hanger swirl because it's so full of surprise and a full of imaginations and I mean right about the hanger swirl is sometimes it make us some the perfect gift surprise about the patterns I hope you like this video and you enjoy it and if you have the questions you can contact me or you can make us some comment thank you very much